Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 3. In this training module, we're going to take a look at working with our global files and our file structure found within our Sniper software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at understanding proper file saving and proper file management within our global file structuring using our Holly Sniper EFI software. And we need to have proper file saving and management for the project or vehicle we're working with because if we don't, we can find ourselves into a bad situation where we don't have a calibration file that we've spent all the time calibrating and tuning. We don't have it saved properly. We can't retrieve it. We don't know where the location's going to be. So this video is going to walk you through how to save your files properly and then where to save them within the global file structuring. First thing we need to do, when we open up the software, we're going to find we have our window pop open here. We have our choose opening option. We can either open a config file, download the file from our ECU, or create a new config file. We also can open up the very last file that we were working with here in the software. In this case, what I'm going to do right now is just go to open config file so we can take a look at our global file structuring and the folder options that we have here within the software. So let's go to our open config file. Now in here, it takes us to the directory where we can access folders and files that we can open up in our software to edit, to look at, to upload to our Sniper system. We can see here we have two folders that have been created. We have custom cows, and that gives a file inside of it. If we go choose or create new directory, we'll go back in here, we'll go to our config files, and we'll click OK. It takes us back into our main area here. We also have our base cows. These are the base files that Holly provides for us. So street strip cam, mild NOS, race NOS, race cam, strip NOS, and stock cam. So all of these are the global files that we can load into our sniper system. They'll hold all the information such as our fuel information, our spark timing, our idle control, our sensor configuration. All of this is needed to tell the Holly exactly how we want it to control. So these files are going to be our starting points. Now let me demonstrate something very quickly here. What we're going to do here is select a file out of our config file base cal folder. Doesn't matter which one we start off with here, just so I can demonstrate this. I'm going to go ahead and choose stock cam.sniper as the option that I want to go ahead and select. One thing I want to note here is the global file name, stockcam.sniper. We can change this and update it if we want to edit this file and make it our own and start off with this as our base file. We also have notes down here. This is the base calibration used when stock slash mild cam is selected from the wizard that would be on your handheld device. Going through that setup and configuration on the handheld, this is exactly that same equivalent file. Let me go here and click open. Now. The file has been opened in the software. We can see our ICFs here at the top being loaded. These hold all of the information that we're going to tell the sniper how we want to control our engine. Note here at the top, we have stockcam.sniper. That's going to give us the file name. Now, what we want to do from here with whatever file we have open, we want to go ahead and save that file in a new folder, and we want to call that file original. What we don't want to do is modify the file going in here. Let's say we jump into the fuel table, we highlight this, we make a percentage change, or we make some changes in here, and then we simply click save. What that's going to do is save on top of this stock cam.sniper file. Now, in order to get this file back to stock original equivalent from Holly, you'd have to go ahead and re-download the software again in order to obtain this specific file. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we're not saving on top of files that Holly has as base files. Those we're going to treat as the original equivalent file that's on our Holly handheld or available from Holly, and we don't want to, again, overwrite that. What do we do here in order to make sure we're saving things properly? What we're going to do is use our File Save As feature. So if we go up to the top and we go to File, and we have our save config, which is the equivalent of clicking save here and overwriting this specific file name, we would go to save config as. What that's going to allow me to do is now save this in its own unique file name, and I can also save it in a custom folder. Let me demonstrate this real quick. So what we can see here is under documents, holly, sniper, 
config files. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.